Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. It's finally happening. The polls are in. People are now deciding that real estate is not the best way to get wealth and it is starting to change. Consumer sentiment is changing right now as we speak. There are stories all over right now because this is the hottest time to buy real estate of the year. It's always been. Spring is always the best time to buy and sell real estate for if you're a real estate agent or a broker. Why? Because people are waking up, they got a little bit of cash in their hands, it's always a strong time of the year. But we're seeing still inventory that's low because people literally cannot afford to sell their home and buy it one literally next door because of increased taxes, interest rates, and the price of the home, right? Even with their big down payment, you can't afford it. But then also the, the mindset is starting to shift. Why? Because people are becoming w much better informed consumers when it comes to buying real estate. As a matter of fact, I've taken a poll from my course and I see so many people now that are starting to see after just very simple lessons, being able to see the writing on the wall and why we know now that homes are gonna continue to decline, especially in earnest as more and more people lose their jobs and they lose their homes. They're forced to sell their homes, right? Airbnbs that are starting to close up because they're not being able to get the high prices that they were demanding during the pandemic or even a little bit before that. Things are changing, they're changing fast. Now I've got a great story for you out of the Hill and it's entitled Americans, Americans Views of Real Estate as Best Investments Decline, okay? It says here, Americans views of real estate as the best long-term investments are declining as the housing market cools from its pandemic era, era peak last summer, according to a new poll. Slightly more than one third of Americans polled by Gallup choose real estate as the best long-term investment option this year. And although this is on par with a typical year, it marks a sharp drop from a record high in 2022 when 45% chose it as the best long-term option. So we've literally seen it decline from 45% to a third. This is impressive. Gallup noted that real estate views are not tethered to home ownership because renters and owners are statistically likely or as likely to say it is the best investment. The housing market has cooled rapidly amid the Federal Reserve's fight with inflation that, the, that led the central bank to increasing interest rates 10 times. During that time, mortgage rates more than doubled from lows to of around 3% to a high of 7.08% in November. This pushed monthly housing payments to new heights. Yet the Consumer Price Index, CPI, a key measure of inflation the Labor Department released Wednesday showed inflation uh, slowed in April to the lowest annual rate since 20 of 21. Shelter costs, which make up about 40% of core inflation, rose by 0.4% in April, and CPI showed it was also the largest contributor to the monthly increase in overall inflation. The cost for shelter has increased by 8.1% over the past 12 months on an unadjusted basis, but the inflation slowdown in April could give the Fed room to pause rate hikes, which could offer relief to prospective home buyers. While views of real estate investment declined, there was a rise in Americans' perception of gold, savings accounts, and bonds as long-term investments. Isn't that really interesting that the Hill is reporting on this? This is a real estate uh, a story, but they're saying now in the same time that, that real estate is, is having some problems, everybody's diving into gold savings and things like that. You guys know I'm a big gold bug, um, especially during times of uncertainty and inflation. But uh, perceptions of gold as a long-term investment jumped 11% from a year ago, from 11% to 26%. So you're literally witnessing last year when 45% of uh, people polled said that uh, real estate was a solid investment, uh, the best investment to make money that year. It's now dropped to 30%. At the same time, you've literally seen people that stated that gold was a good thing and last year, 11% of those people jumped to 26%. So you see a total shift that's happening and you're going to see that manifest in the real world just like it did in 2008 to 2011 when gold was taking off, right? And remember, let's go back before that and explain that. See, in 2006, while everything was cratering, people were starting to lose their jobs. They really started to lose them in earnest mid-2007, but people, people were having some trouble in 2006, and home prices were waning, all right? They weren't rising. Uh, velocity collapsed just like it's happening right now, right? And we didn't see a ton of homes flooding the market. Why? Because who would sell it? They couldn't sell their home and buy another home, so they might as well stay where they are, right? And many people, now that we know 
the real facts were not even paying their payments in 2006, all right? So they weren't trying to sell their house, they were just honkering down, talking to the bank, trying to get uh, uh, help any which way they could. But then what happened is, by, uh, and gold was just starting to pick up. And what was happening is the same thing. Investor sentiment on real estate was starting to go down at the same time that gold was going up. And then by 2008, when Lehman Brothers closed, Bear Stearns closed, now it's off to the races. Real estate is skydiving down and, and gold is skyrocketing up. And then obviously we hit that crescendo, right? When 2011, 2012, gold started to find its top, real estate was finding its bottom. That's where you want to be. I talk about in the real estate course. I'll put a 70% off link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, but my point being is that it's so easy to see these signs and now you are seeing it in the polls. The idea of real estate being the best investment ever is falling. And what's going to be sad, and even if the Federal Reserve steps in and started lowering rates tomorrow, it's not going to be enough. Because why? The consumer is now different. They're educated and they're going, well, wait a minute, you're just doing this to spur the real estate market and I don't buy it. And it takes a long time. It's a multi-year process to get the consumer sentiment from the doldrums back up. And that's what you have to understand. That means you have time. You have time to prepare and you have time to act, okay? Trust me, when this even when the Federal Reserve is lowering rates, it will only come while everything is literally on fire. The building is on fire and they're going to try and put a little hose on it by lowering rates. It's not going to be enough. The people are still going to be exiting the door screaming, getting out of that building. And that's why you know you have time to prepare. But I do want you to understand it, the time is now to prepare because every day that goes by is one day less that you have le that less money, that less education backing you to make the most amazing decisions ever that could literally lead you to becoming more wealthy than you've ever been in your entire life. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. This is not the Economic Ninja Channel. This is the Real Estate Ninja Channel. That's my brother. I'm me. Take a look at this channel if you want. Hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up. It would really help me out. And I, again, I appreciate all of your support. With that being said, the Real Estate Ninja is out.